Okay, let me see if I can get some filming on these little ones. They are three days old, if you can believe that. Um, we've had so much going on, so um, these guys were born. Faith was doing great in the beginning, and then she got she started vomiting. And some of you are friends of mine on Facebook, so you know all this. She started vomiting, and then um, and would continue to do so for an hour or so. We went over to the hospital, and um, she had fluids, and she got medication to stop the um, to stop the vomiting. And so, um, you know, she came home, and she still, to me, wasn't a hundred percent right. But my vet had called because, you know, they get the report and said, "Listen, bring her here because they wanted to assess her." So I took her over to my vet, and. Um, we gave her, you know, we, we just were treating her symptoms at that point, but when I got home, she wasn't eating at all, which when we left, she was eating very well. And the puppies weren't gaining weight the way I wanted them to, and so um, they ran another panel of blood, and they found out that she had pancreatitis. So um, she's doing much better now. Um, not still 100%, because we still have some diarrhea, but she's not vomiting. She is eating. She's perky. And she's a great mom. So back and forth to the vet. We went back today just to get fluids. And we'll be giving her fluids under the skin just to keep her hydrated. Which is one of the things that can kill pancreatitis pretty pretty well. So um, it's a good idea. Her milk is in and that's good. Everybody's gaining weight now the way I want them to. And, um, and doing well. So let's talk about the pups. So you can see now the pups colors <laughs> this is still not the color that I don't believe that they're going to be you can see this little spotted one here she's not yellow anymore she she's turning white and whatever color this is going to be it, she looks the same as her mother um, underneath so we'll see what happens as this her spots start to come through her, her fur um, she's the only female you can see the top of her head is starting to get dark. If you remember her, you can go back and look at the previous video. You can see that she was all white, and you could just faintly see the coloration underneath her skin. It's starting to show up now. Her ears are still pink because they don't have hair on them, and her feet are still pink because they don't have hair on them either. That'll start to come in over the next week. Um, so she's going to be a party of some color. I think she's going to be a red and white party. Um, and then this little guy here, <laughs> I'm not sure what color he's going to be yet, but he's got a brother named Beckham, if you can find him on my Facebook page, um, who was a beautiful golden color. You can see now that his white, he was born white. You can see that he is starting to darken. As a matter of fact, you can see the white line down his back. That's the color he was when he was born. Um... So, fascinating. Can't wait to see what color these guys are going to become. This little boy underneath, of course he is underneath. Um, I'm going to, I'm not going to, let me see, well, I'm going to have to get their pictures after they're done eating. Um, Sadie, I can hear you. Stop. Um, because I don't want to interrupt their, um, their eating. But I'll get a picture of the party boy underneath after after they're done eating and uh, let you guys see them but this is the three of them they um if you listen you can hear their milk coming in they have to work to get that milk to come out so they're eating well um <laughs> I see. I could sit here all day and listen to them nurse, and I would never get a thing done. Um, anyway, so if you guys have any questions, um, feel free to call me or text me. My husband should be home sometime tomorrow night, and um, it's just been a rough couple of days for us, and especially with puppies being born and adult dogs being sick. Plus, I have my adult dogs downstairs that actually need to come up. Let me see what she's doing here. I just laid all that nice carpeting for you and what did you do? She balled it up and made a little a comfortable bed for herself. 
What are you doing? Hmm? What are you doing? Okay, so this is the, the pups. Oh, let me see. I think he just came off. Let me grab him. Oh, he's back on again. Here you go, little guy. Here. Well, he doesn't want that one. He wants to push his big brother off of the other one. Okay, hold on for a second. Okay, so you can get a, an idea about this boy here, this red. Okay, so this the Sadie's pup is a party. Uh, the the little girl over there. This little guy is actually a pied. You see how solid his he is, as opposed to a sister who has spots. She's fifty percent or more white, so she's a party. This boy here is a pied, and he's a nicely marked pied. Uh, a lot of times they want pieds to be solid on the top like from the tip of their toe I mean from the tip of their nose down their back to their tail if they're solid and then they'll be white underneath that's kinda cool and then they like a ring around their neck well he's got a pretty good ring it's not all the way around but it almost is all the way around um, and he, he's white underneath I don't want to mess with him too much, but but he is less than 50% white, so he's a pied, and he's got a nice ring around his uh, his waistline there, and a nice white tail. He is very nicely marked, um, and I believe he's going to become a, a nice red. He's he's um, very dark right now. That'll lighten up some. He's got a lot of black tipping, and that'll go away. The tipping is the black that you see. Sometimes it can be light, sometimes it can be heavy. His is heavy, but um, as he grows all bigger, then that tipping will become less. So, nicely marked litter this is turning out to be. Um, so I'm excited to see what they become. And I'll get some pictures of them if I can after they're done eating. <laughs>